one of the questions I get probably a couple times a day is, how do you get any work done when you're on Twitter all day long? Well, the simple answer to that question is, I'm not on Twitter all day long. I just give the illusion that I'm on Twitter all day long. I'm going to do a series of videos here, and I'm using Jing, which is J-I-N-G, uh, from TechSmith, which is a great free product. Um, I actually pay for the premium service, but uh, it's still only limited to five minutes, which is great because it makes me cut to the chase, and you don't have to hear me ramble for five minutes before I actually start talking about what it is I came to talk about. The uh, tool that I wanted to use today to demo is Digo. I'm going to demo Digo for you. Digo is a social bookmarking service, much like, much like Delicious. You'll see it up here in the bar. Um, you'll also see that they have their own browser bar. I usually keep that minimized to give myself uh, some maximum amount of room down here. And uh, here we're on, a, uh, we're on Dan Morrill's Personal Views of Technology, Education, Web 2.0, and Bringing People Together blog, TechWag. TechWag is one of my uh, favorite blogs that I've discovered over the past few months of uh, being a part of the Twitter friend feed group. And uh, he has a great story on here talking about his own personal startup, um, which, by the way, we should probably give him... I like to give startups a little bit of credit here. It's Alternating Reality. Um, it's actually an online bookstore, and it actually appears to be loading a little slow today, which... I'm pretty sure it's my internet connection and has nothing to do with his site because my internet connection has been pretty slow today. Um, looks like it came out. Boom! There we go. Sci-fi, comics, anime, you know, geek stuff. And uh, using Digo, you bookmark, a, it just works like any other bookmarking service. I right-click, um, TechWag was a suggested tag, startups. They talk about business models, which I love talking about business models. Um, and we're going to type a little message in here. Great example of how a startup is using oops, yeah, social media. grow their business. Now you'll notice up here, this is a great feature that uh, they add. Um, they actually have a couple here. Unread will keep it unread for me so I can go back to it later. Um, but Twitter this will post this to Twitter for me. So I actually don't have to go to Twitter to post to Twitter. Um, like I said, my internet was being a little slow and then it may run us out of time. Um, what it does is it takes the URL, shortens it using using uh, tiny URLs API. They throw their own little plug in here, and sorry guys, to take out your little viral plug, but man, it uh, takes up too much space. So we're gonna change that to at TechWag, um, and uh, we're gonna put in here sample of a. Startup. I should have just copied and pasted this, by the way, from my previous typing. Great example of a startup using social media to grow biz. And of course, it's Twitter, so we abbreviate everything. Good job, TechWag. And then I send. I have now posted to Twitter. I've never visited to Twitter because, you know, once you get on Twitter, you start seeing replies, you start seeing other comments, and before you know it, two hours are gone and you still haven't gotten any work done. I've just spent five minutes, what well, normally probably would have taken me a minute, but I'm explaining it to you. Um, read an article, posted it to Twitter, I can now get back on with my work. I hope you found this useful. Uh, if you did, leave me a comment. If there's something I can improve and do better, please also leave me a comment. Um, maybe get rid of the annoying background noise. Um, thanks for coming by.